Good evening from Washington. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Patrick with your news now. 20 members of the House and Senate are blasting President Obama's Cuba policy. They say his push to normalize relations with Havana is a threat to the U.S. This week, they sent a letter to the White House voicing their concerns. The lawmakers say the U.S. gets nothing in return for negotiating with Cuba, which until recently was labeled a state sponsor of terror. Republican Representative Diane Black of Tennessee authored the letter. She's concerned about thousands of Cubans here illegally who are charged with crimes in the U.S. Wyatt Goolsby has more tonight from Capitol Hill. Thanks, Brian. We're here on the House of Representatives side of the Capitol building talking with Congressman Diane Black of Tennessee. Congressman Black, first off, in this letter to President Obama, you say that the administration's policy towards Cuba threatens the safety and well-being of the American people. How so? Well, first of all, we have had them on the state-sponsored terrorist list until just this past May. And so our question is, what has changed? Uh, we look at the human rights that are inside of that country and have they done anything to make sure that the human rights are being respected in the country. From what we've seen from the Castros in the past, that's not so. Let me ask you this. You also mentioned in the letter about the situation with illegal immigrants, specifically criminals. Explain that to me, what the problem with that. Um, we found out that from the Homeland Security that there are about 21,000 uh, Cubans that are here who have committed crimes and have been put into jail here in our country and then been let go. And we might question, why is it that we're not looking at them after they've been let out of prison or sending them back to their own country? Well, first of all, Cuba refuses to take uh, these refugees back. And they're criminals and they should be back in their own country. That should be part of the negotiation if we open up talks. Um, but the second thing is, is that we have the, these folks out in our community because the Supreme Court said we can only keep them for the period of time in which they had their sentence. So unlike a, a criminal that would be a citizen who would be let out of jail, we would be monitoring them. Well, we can't do that with these um, illegal Cubans that are here. You yourself are a person of faith. You're a practicing Christian. For, for so long, we've been covering the issue of Pope Francis, encouraging uh, talk between the U.S. and Cuba. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think he's right? And how would you go about dealing with that? I don't think there's a problem with talking. I think the problem is in the action and seeing that what Cuban has done in the past with human rights has been resolved. And before we create normalcy with them and open up an embassy there in Havana, I want to be assured that the Castros, who haven't exactly had an A-plus on their human rights, that that is occurring in their country. Okay, well, we thank you so much for your time, Congressman Diane Black of Tennessee. We'll toss things back to you, Brian, in the studio. All right, Wyatt Goolsby on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Wyatt.